He has come. He has come in his power, might, and wisdom. None should feel proud of his or her material wealth and knowledge, for these are nothing in the sight of God. After all, he is after all, is he not the creator and owner of all things that man claimed to own? He is the Lord and King of wisdom, power, health, wealth, and all things. Ours is to bow to him, sing to his praises, glorify his name, and call upon him, and call upon him every time. Whether in bed, at table, on the road, in your conversations, and in, in and out of season, we are to praise him at all times. In times of joy and trouble, continue to call upon his name. It is blasphemous for anybody to arrogate to himself the ability to see vision heal or do anything it is an offense and of and of a gross proportion for any person to trade in visions prayer or any service in this kingdom members of brotherhood of the cross and star are the more guilty able in this wise who on earth has power to do anything it is God who has healed a person or opened your eyes to see vision. These visionaries and so-called healers are so faithless and full of unbelief that if left on their own, they cannot move a fly. Man is empty and void. It is really funny to watch a man testifying how he has healed diverse illnesses, prayed until the dead was raised, and has done many more wonderful things. What is man in the first place? And what does he know? The door of all things. The beginning of all things. And the last is here and we should give him glory in the past man angels and spirits were glorified but now is the time for God to be glorified let the first lesson be read once again first lesson said Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 to 10 after this manner, therefore, pray ye, O Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Time for God's glory. We are indeed the luckiest generation to have God's promise fulfilled in our time. We have a Father, the Father of peace, hope, mercy, truth, and all the virtues. Time has since passed and gone when people entertain various fears. There are no more sorrows and pains. Weep not, child, for the Savior is not on his way, but is already in our midst. He is the comforter and advisor. The only way, the truth, and the life. Do not give God's glory to man. Who is mere mortal and incapable of doing anything? The only ruling force. Humble yourself and do not be proud of having power or anything. Submit to him and give him his due glory. In the wall of Cross River State and 
Aqua Ibom State here in Nigeria. There is no particular people as wicked and adventurous as those of Aqua Ibom in Cross River State or Achara Oppo in Abia State. But it should interest you to know that the Father has come into their midst and subdued them. They were at daggers drawn with each other and not even the government, state or federal, could successfully intervene in their intercommunal boundary conflict. They have now laid down their arms because they have seen this glory. The same rancor prevailed between Adim and Aquaguna in Cross River State. The squabble defied every human solution, but by celebrating a full feast, Peace has been restored in their midst, and they are united as one. Listen to God. This is not the time to establish churches, healing homes or prayer houses. Tell even the government to listen to God and obey His rules. It is time we should love one another, humble ourselves, and become merciful and meek. Who are God's vineyard? His temple, His city, His kingdom, and His Christ. We should rise in concert and glorify Him as Christ testified of His glory in every statement that He made. Our duty is to chorus that his words are true. None should consult his fellow man, angel or spirit for anything. There should be no ritual sacrifice of any sort and for any reason whatsoever. The Father is in perfect control of all affairs. His glory he shares with only those he pleases. Go and advise all to desist from carnal thoughts. Tell the sorcerers, prostitutes, deceivers and swindlers to refrain from such devilish acts. People who are power thirsty and egoistic should bow down to God and give every glory to Him. The owner of heaven and earth and the fullness therein is now here on earth, personified. It is God's wish that none should perish. This is why he has come by himself. Therefore go and inform all those who are claiming ownership of one thing or the other to desist from such claims. Tell those who struggle for land, house and positions to stop it. For the real owner and creator of everything is here. The owner of cities human beings, banks, governments and their agencies, children, husbands, wives, water, air, mountain and all things has come. Our only duty is to show complete obedience and loyalty to Him. Let us all carry the banner of Christ and His truth to the entire inhabitants of the world to follow. No matter 
how little the service you render to God without fee, his divine blessing to you is a hundredfold. The world is empty and void. We have to reason to consult. We have no reason to consult physicians, herbalists, sorcerers, healers, and soothsayers. The whole world is empty and human beings are also blank without any knowledge. Man's only hope is in the Father. What is written in the book of Isaiah chapter 2 is here fulfilled. Let us now turn away from evil and pursue peace, love, truth and all the virtues which form the component parts of the kingdom. He cares, teaches and guides us all daily. No man is capable of changing, caring for or tolerating his fellow man. A message to the world. His appearance now is a clear indication that his spirit flourishes the earth. He has come with his host of angels, children of God and his long-awaited kingdom. Let us now leap for joy and sing his praises. Let all those who are still at war lay down their arms. Tell litigants to withdraw all their cases from the court. The judges should desist from judging others. Let all evildoers and warmongers refrain from their evil ways. Now is the time to obey the voice of God and turn a new leaf. For destruction is at the doorstep of every man for the destruction of disobedient people. Tell all the politicians who form the habit of deceiving the people and looting the public treasury. Tell them to desist from such. Tell the troublemakers Coop, plotters, usurpers of governments, and all evildoers to refrain from these things. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson, Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 3. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. How many of those who have been reading this passage believe in what is written in it? Who in the world today believes that God is here on earth? Christ is here with us, and so is the Holy Spirit and angel. We are all God's children and by that is messengers and servants. We are now in a new world. The old one has given way with its old things. Now ask yourself why the attention of the world is focused on Nigeria in particular and Africa in general. As anyone read the present, 
events in the world in books, seen a vision or dream, he has come to reign in heaven and on earth. He is neither a lumba nor any prophet. He is not an angel either. His glory has no beginning and no end. His reign has no limit at all. America should be careful. Tell America that claims to be the world's police to put his sword into its place. The same warning goes to China, Spain, Britain, France, and all the troublesome countries the world over. Now is the time for peace, love, truth, and glory of God. God abhors disobedience. A local adage says that a cock that is stubborn and recalcitrant hears very clearly only in a pot of soup. No person should take vengeance. God has promised that vengeance is his. He will repay. Members of the various secret societies should resign their membership and follow God. He is with us everywhere and at all times. We are very fortunate to be called the children of God and given the right of sonship. There will be one currency under one government. Time has since passed and gone when anger, division, war, cheating, swindling, oppression, occultism and other evil practices rule over man. There is no distinction as to color, age, race, sex or status in life in the kingdom of God. For we are one in the Lord. This is a completely new world in which peace, love, cooperation, economic integration under one universal umbrella prevail. It is one currency under one government. This gospel is to be disseminated to all parts of the world. He that perishes has himself to blame, and his soul shall also perish with him. No man has ever contested with the Holy Spirit. Therefore, you have to submit to him and live in peace. Do not seek for salvation and solution to your problem from any man. Let your hope and trust be centered on your Creator. Go to Him on bended knees and He will surely give you rest. He has said that this generation will not pass away until every word that he spoke shall be made consummate. This generation refers to this 20th century. The end of the 20th century will mark the end of all hostilities, diseases, illnesses, and all sinful acts, division, hunger, and all forms of problem will be over with the turn of this century. Transition period. We are now in a transitional period into oneness, unity, love, peace, and all goodness. 
Now is the time to get the kingdom from the disobedient and wicked husbandmen and give to those who keep his commandments. In this kingdom, there is no place for divided loyalty, falsehood, and self-projection. He has accomplished his will. Prophecy of the Three Nuns Fulfilled The First World War of 1914 came with a revelation in 1917 to three Roman Catholic nuns that the Holy Spirit shall appear in Africa. He has since taken his advent and is actively working. working. The Catholic Church, when it heard the revelation by the nuns, concealed it on the orders of the then Pope. Tell me, for how long can the truth be concealed? Like the mustard seed, he has germinated in Africa and all the countries in the world. The inhabitants of the world have seen him. This explains why the whites are, are rushing to Africa and many are tracing their roots to Nigeria. He is a quickening spirit. The end of vice. He said in the scripture that all those who seek to save their lives would lose it. But those who forsake their lives for the sake of, this, of the gospel shall gain them. All those who continue to indulge in diabolism, fetish and membership of secret societies shall be destroyed. What we are witnessing now is the dream of Nebuchadnezzar as interpreted by Daniel. It is now fulfilled. He saw many kingdoms coming and going until a particular one that was to be resolute and strong, overcoming every other kingdom. This dream is fulfilled in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. This is the kingdom established by the Father himself. He has come now as the Holy Spirit, having been before as the Father and the Son. The Trinity God is here with his heavenly host. He has come to put an end to prejudice based on color, language and economic religious, political or social factors. That is the first prophecy of our Lord Jesus Christ which has equally fulfilled. This is the reason for for charging that we should go into the world and make all nations his disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and teaching them all he has taught us, for he is with us always, even to the end of the world. See Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 to 20. Read the golden text again. Golden text in Matthew chapter 21 verses 33 to 43. Here another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it around about and digged a white press in it and built a tower and let it out to husband men and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, drew near he sent his servants to the husbandmen that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandmen took the servants 
and beat one and killed another and stoned another. Again, he sent other servants more than the first and they did they did um, unto them likewise. But last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But when the husband men saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, <coughs> and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him, and cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked husbandmen, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their season. Jesus said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. A reward for the righteous. Beloved, brethren, all those who are kind, loving, obedient, merciful, truthful, humble, faithful, and righteous shall inherit the kingdom of God. But the disobedient, the faithless ones shall be damned. Remember the case of a certain widow in the Bible who attended a fundraising while others donated in thousands. Out of her generosity, she donated her widow's might. That was all the money she had and with this action she stood distinct from every other person because of her generosity. In that congregation were chiefs, kings, millionaires, and great men, but the woman's donation attached, attracted a blessing. So would the so-called great men of this world, the scientists, the royal highnesses, and all disobedient and faithless people be destroyed and swept off. Only the children of God shall inherit the earth. A stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise. Let those who have ears hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.